Here we are, we're recording, all right. New camera, new buttons, difficult, it's challenging. So we're looking at the, uh, the last days of the Grand Army and I'm gonna try and sit still because I'm holding the camera at my hand and I don't want you to get vertigo and throw up. Uh, let's talk strategy. We should have a segment called Let's Talk Strategy. Why not? Let's give everything a freaking name, right? Um, so we got a couple of cores on the board already. We've got the uh, second, sorry, yes, gosh, my eyes are going. Second core, first cavalry core, the old guard, and the third core on the board, and then uh, elements of the first. So four cores on the board. And the goal is to uh, demoralize enemy units, of which there are many, as you can see around the outside of the board. And also, if I get all the way up to there, or all the way over to here, uh, I get two extra victory points, and one victory point for each uh, formation demoralized. So, what's the plan, Stan? I really don't know, it's just a little bit different. The two red roads, uh, main roads running up the middle of the map there, there's one here that goes all the way to Waterloo, and this one that goes off to the right, uh, obviously a good direct access routes to the two supply sources. But I don't know if that's worth uh, worth trying to achieve getting units to occupy them and be in supply and uh, fend off the forces that come in on that side. I'm obviously concerned about these guys that come in late and uh, they will uh, cause challenges for us on the 17th because it's a significant little force and they can make a run for capturing our uh, I think it's one of these two, our, the French uh, supply source. So, what to do? My initial plan is to move the 2nd Corps up into some sort of holding position up around between Nivelle and uh, Senefe here. And then bring the bulk of everything else up the centre of the map. And despite all this heavy terrain here, obviously this Corte de Bras is right here, that's why it was such a key location, right? Because uh, of the heavy woods and the rivers and streams. Uh, you go back, up, I go further up the, the road and you see the same situation in and around Waterloo and uh, Maison de Roy there. All that is just a mess. So, uh, I think uh, just a central approach Knowing that we have the enemy coming from the two flanks, we can perhaps press up this way and, and uh, est establish some sort of defensive line here. And one of my later arrival cores, perhaps the fourth, uh, comes in on the 15th of the afternoon, actually. Maybe these guys, eh, it's cavalry. I need to find a small force. Here we go, June 15th, the evening. Maybe we'll take the 6th, or parts of the 6th, and use that to keep control of this southern... Is that southern? Yes, southern area of the map, and prevent any, you know, any uh, breaking of supply lines and things like that. Like I said, as I've already said, I don't think supply lines are significantly important in terms of the game, game function and the impact on the game for you, but it certainly does... Uh, Certainly is important for victory points and things like that. So anyway, that's my quick little uh, summary on what we might try and achieve here. And as the allied forces, well, we need to go on the offensive pretty quickly because there are a lot of French units. They are quite strong. And Napoleon is a mitigating factor when it comes to, you know, in, into combat and stuff like that. He has a significant impact. But I think if we consolidate in a band uh, across here using these forests and road junctions, Nivelle, uh, obviously Cordebra and then uh, Jean Bleu over here, I think those three towns, if we held a line there, uh, just kind of screened it forward and hold a line there and then drop back. And as these reinforcements come in from the rest of the map, will uh, obviously have overwhelming force and be able to surround units and start eliminating things and driving up the, demoral the demoralization uh, count for the various cores for the French. That's a grand plan, isn't it? All right, that's strategy for the last days of the Grand Army.